Hey everyone, Joel Lance here today. We're in Wilmington, Wilmington, Vermont. Guys, my first time in Vermont and my first food challenge attempt in Vermont. So this would be um, the only, like, this is the second last state to visit for me. And then I think I'm after, if we get this win today, I think we only have two more states to get wins in, which are New Mexico and North Dakota. I haven't been to North Dakota yet. But yeah, there we go. So we're outside Ramunto's. Ram Untoes. To do their Cow Abunga, I think it's called. Cow Abunga or something like that. Calzone Challenge or the Giant Calzone Challenge. It's pick up either it's three toppings. Um, I think it's 45 minutes in order to get the about 50-ish dollar calzone for free. Plus you'd finish with a dish of sauce and a drink. I'm gonna give you the exact details. I could be totally wrong, but that's what I recall. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Big calzone challenge. A lot of people have done this one. Um, and this is a lot of people's first challenge they've ever done in Vermont. That makes sense. There's not too many in the area. It's a big state, not heavily populated. So let's head in, have fun, eat food. It smells good. Calzones, if you're not familiar, it's kind of like Panzerati. It's like a fold over pizza basically. So lots of cheese, Meh. Anyway, let's go eat. Hi everybody, so here we are with the Cal Mungo. This is actually the biggest calzone I've ever seen in my life. And um, while I did actually go with four toppings instead of three toppings, uh, I saw Mr. Randy Santel do it and I was inspired. So I went with a ham, a green pepper, a mushroom, and an onion, got my healthy veggies. But what I didn't expect, and I quote the owner, told the chef to make it a big one. So we definitely have a Vermont mountain size, whatever, and apparently a big one. So. We have the owner here. I know he's going to run through rules with me. So what do we got going, my friend? All right, Joel, you got the cow mungo. It takes 45 minutes. If you finish this in 45 minutes or less, you're in the cow zone for free. It goes on the wall of fame, and you get a free t-shirt. If you don't finish it in 45 minutes or less, you go on our wall of shame. You've got to pay for the cow zone, and that includes the sauce. You've got 45 minutes to do it. Time's never been an issue, and it's the exact same size. I don't want you to think that I'm trying to go big uh, here, my brother. And what is the cost of this? Yeah, so they range for you for people. That, so they range between twenty-eight dollars and thirty-five dollars, depending on what you put in. So thirty-five bucks. Yeah. So that's a heck of a deal. And no. yes, we do have the dish of sauce here, which I do love me my sauce. They make it in house, so who knows? Maybe I'll be getting some more of that. Um, but at that, that's pretty much it. So forty-five minutes, free meal, and a T-shirt. So with that, let's get started here just momentarily. All right, everybody, so we're gonna get rocking. And uh, yeah, so there's actually over like 300 some failures on this thing. It's maybe like 10 to 15 winners. They're on the wall after all. Is there a proper way to eat a calzone? Well, I mean, competition-wise, all it's whatever you want to do, all hands on deck if you're gonna try to do it 45 Just minutes. whatever? I can tell you that some of the guys I've seen like take everything out of the middle and then try to eat it. But if it was me, I would just eat it piece by piece. But it's what's, what's like the proper way to eat a calzone though? Like, like the pick it up like a pocket? Well, a proper way to eat it, I think, is with a fork and a knife. That's, okay. that's what I would So just like fork it, fork eat it bit by bit? Yep. All right, well, there you go. No rules at Vermontos. No rules. Hey, everybody. Well, there you go. I got the, uh, the official go-to from the New England pizza joint of how to eat a calzone. So at that, I think uh, we might as well get a rockin' and a rollin'. So how about we get started? We'll say maybe the count of let's say five, four, three, two, one. Go for it. Let's see. Box on. All right, let's open this up. And they put a garlic butter and a parm on top. So I got my, you know, whatever. Mm, okay. Yeah. Flavorful. Well, the veggies are definitely have a nice texture to them. Very al dente. There is so much cheese in this. I'm just using my hands. In fact, I said there's like three plus pounds of cheese in this. Look at this. Look at all that. Crazy. No shortage of cheese. But I like the peppers, like the onions, like the veggies. There you are. Thank you so much. Yeah. I gotta say, honestly, it does taste pretty damn good. Let me adjust this a little bit. Let me throw a little sauce in here. See what its action is. I don't know how to like do this the best way. 
Maybe I'll just grab some of this and try dipping it. Not bad. And there's no sauce actually in the calzone, so I'm just gonna Man, there's a lot of cheese in this, everybody. Just cheese. Cheese and cheese. Woo! Maybe I can like pick this up. I'm having technical difficulties, can't tell. Uh, how to how to eat this. Woo! Cheese. So much cheese. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Romanto's in Williston, Vermont. So the Burlington, Vermont area. Super excited as we said to be trying our first challenge in the state of Vermont. So here we are with the Cal Mungo Calzone. And let me just start by saying this is the biggest, the absolute biggest calzone I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen a couple big ones, but this one is way, way, way huge. All right, but I just made a mess. That did not work the way I intended it. I think the strategy of eating it, like the toppings out of it first, is the way to do it. But holy cheese. Just cows up. It's crazy. Man, there's just it's pure cheese. All y'all cheese lovers. Yeah, I just got a pile of food. I, this is not what I intended it to look like, but I'm just trying to make it so I can dip it in the sauce and utilize it, but I'm having difficulties. Um, I've seen some other people do this, and let's just say, while the owner did say this was the same size as all the other ones, he also told me on the phone he wanted to make sure he was there because sometimes the calzones are made a little, in his words, flat, and then technically he also literally told the chef to make this a big one. The most cheese I've ever tried to consume in one sitting in my life. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. So, nonetheless, he said it was the same size as the other, so I will leave that up to your own judgment. Um, but yeah, it was a really difficult, actually, calzone to eat. There was such a huge layer of cheese in the bottom. We're about five and a half minutes in. In the calzone chill. Hold the cheese. But I actually love the taste of the ricotta. The ricotta taste is delicious. The mozzarella, you know, but ricotta, amazing. Shout out Fresca too. It was this molten pile of stringy cheese that no matter which way I pulled it or cut it, it just would not, like nothing would come apart. Um, I think also having all that cheese on the bottom, it actually kind of prevented the veggies being cooked as well. So it was just like this, it was a very, very, very large, let's just say a big ball, a bundle of gooey cheese. That is absolutely for sure. Um, which there was no shortage of cheese on it. So 45 minutes in order to get the meal for free. Let us appreciate the value, like $35 or whatever. Absolutely crazy. Um, I did add four toppings versus the mandatory three. Uh, however, that being said, you know, adding a couple mushrooms, I don't think added overall too, too, too much weight. And then you do actually have to complete the dish of marinara sauce, which I just could not really use effectively. I was really hoping to be able to dip my calzone into it, but I just couldn't rip my calzone apart. Uh, it was just lots and lots and lots of cheese. 
The area is very beautiful. Um, there's a lake kind of in Burlington. There's lots of greenery. There's definitely some kind of hills and little bits of, we'll just say, wilderness all around. Excuse me, comments to the chef. So we're about eight and a half minutes in. I just can't believe how much cheese on this. It's a lot of cheese, put it that way, but. We're getting it done. I do like they said the bites for the ricotta. But there's so much cheese that like, you try to rip it apart and it just can't really rip. So, crazy. Absolutely giant calzone in the quest for that free meal, a free t-shirt, and her photo on the wall of fame. So that's pretty much the majority of the info. So let's see if we can tune on in, have some fun, as we attempt the biggest calzone I have ever seen in my life. This thing was thick, but I'm really curious. Do you prefer a calzone or a pizza? Which I mean, a calzone, if you're not familiar, is you know, it's basically wrapped up pizza, right? So let me know if you prefer a calzone or a pizza in a comment below, and let's see what happens. I don't think I've ever had my food turn into such an unidentifiable pile of mass before. But we're about done the sauce. Woo. Like I said, this, you can't really rip it. Just cheese. Cheese on cheese. Woo. But if you like cheese, man, you need one of these cow mungas. That is for sure. Uh, excuse me. Woo. Ten and a half minutes in. Man, crazy. Cheese pulls all over the place. Hey Jeff, can I buy you for some more sauce, please? You want more sauce? Yes, please. Sure. Thank you, sir. So what you're looking at is a calzone with the top layer kind of off. And that's what the inside of the calzone looks like. I'm still seeing a pizza. A crazy cheesy pizza. Let me know if you want to bite down below. It is like straight cheese though. Well, I want to add some flavor to it. This is parm. Maybe that'll work. I hope it's more sauce.
Thanks, my friend. Oh, good. Just put it right there. Thank you, sir. There you go. Appreciate it. All right, we got some more sauce in action. Everybody, 15 and a half in. This left. So I will say, if there was more ricotta on this, I actually would have been totally okay with it. I like that. I really like the flavor of that. They went heavy on the mozzarella. Woo. Like chase it. All right, everybody. Must get all of these little last bites. And that's it, we're done right there. That's it, So 17 and a half minutes, guys. Definitely a big calzone, we'll put it that way. And crazy cheesy. Like I said, woo! If you like cheese, this cow mungo is definitely uh, excuse me, woo, satisfactory for you. But get some air in there, get the, some, make some room. Uh, woo! Excuse me. But that everybody. Definitely a very large calzone. Biggest I've seen. The uh, I really like the vegetables in it. I just love vegetables in general. Um, the sauce was a nice addition. The ricotta was a great flavor. But that, everybody, so that we get the meal for free. About the 30-ish, $35 calzone, which is a really good deal. Um, we did this with four toppings instead of three. And apparently, get a sweet t-shirt, which is pretty cool. Um, but that, things over here at Ramonto's. Um, the staff have been very friendly. And uh, I got no complaints, guys. So there we go. We officially got our first food challenge win in the state of Vermont. And I officially made it to Vermont. So that's pretty cool. Oh, there's a t-shirt right there. There's a t-shirt, buddy. It says, I came, I ate, I conquered. Cal Munga. Well, thank you, my friend. Congratulations, buddy. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So that, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, the next time, say happy, hungry, happy eating. I guess I just wiped my gloves off for no reason. I just take these off. What are that, guys? Appreciate it. So with that, Green Mountain State. Got it? Let's do it. And that, have a good day. All right, everyone, we're downtown Burlington, Burlington, Vermont. We are right now outside City Hall Park. It's uh, it's very pleasant down here, you know? It's uh, quite the, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna try to think of how to describe it, like, but it, it kind of is that, like New England vibe, you know what I mean? We are in, in New England after all, kind of, you know, maybe reminiscent of maybe a little bit of Boston, Massachusetts, you know, kind of, Definitely some older dated buildings, um, which they've definitely tried to preserve, at least in some capacity. So this little park is nice. 
The sun has been behind a cloud, but it was a sunny day. So yeah, let's just take a little gander around. There's also a waterfront right down the street. Um, so yeah, we'll see a little bit of Burlington, Vermont. And there's a um, Church Square Market something right up here, which is like a, a pedestrian area, restaurant, shops. Probably maybe start there. And yeah, we'll kind of walk around, walk through this little park and see what all has to offer. So made up to the Church Street Market. So definitely a cool, you know, they got the uh, whole area with these little flags and like I said, it's very closed off, kind of pedestrians only, which is pretty cool. Definitely, like you said, got some lovely patios. It is, uh, you know, summertime here in New England and the, you know, we'll put it this way. You gotta take the warm weather and the sun when it shines. Vermont is, uh, for those who are not familiar, Definitely a winterous state in a lot of times of the year. Um, but yeah, I mean, ooh, I smell some food. Some little kind of, I don't know, I think mostly boutique shops and markets. I mean, this is obviously kind of a bit of a touristy area. I mean, you'll get some locals probably come down here to, you know, grab a seat on a patio or a bar or something. But I think this is definitely a little bit more of a, you know, I'm visiting Burlington. I'm gonna come check it out. But yeah, cool stuff. They, uh, it just kind of goes on and on and on. And uh, so we'll uh, continue to check it out. There's also a Ben and Jerry's, which if I'm not mistaken, I think Ben and Jerry's actually started in Vermont. And then they, some people are very familiar with their big, they call it like Verminator or Verminonster or something. It's like this very large, basically gallon of Ben & Jerry's ice cream, which if you're not familiar with Ben & Jerry's, it's definitely a gourmet, exquisite ice cream. Uh, a little bit more of a, yeah, higher price tag, but it is very delicious. And then literally on Church Street, we do have the City Hall, which is quite large, quite impressive. Obviously it is, well, not brand new, we'll put it that way. But yeah, cool little like strip here, you know, give you some uh, entertainment as you walk down. Again, we have the City Hall. They're actually playing music on the other side of it. They have like a, a local artist playing, uh, part of like a, I guess a summer series. We have a few other buildings. I don't see a name on it, but it looks like it used to be an old, oh, there we go, the U.S. Post Office and Courthouse. There you go, the old U.S. Post Office and Courthouse. That's pretty damn cool. That's definitely a big, 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 big marble building. In very good condition, I will say. Um, and then here we are just off of Main Street. The other one was College Street, which that's what uh, that church runs in between. And here we have like the Flynn. This is a very well-known, right there, Flynn. A very well-known um, old uh, kind of theater, I guess you could say, where they do shows. Right now they're playing Broadway Legends and Game Shows, just announced on sale now. So if you look up like things to do in Burlington, I know that particularly came up, you know, go see a show at the old theater. Um, you know, I guess preserving some of the old history and, and art. Uh, here again is the other side of the city hall where the people are playing music. I'll walk in here a little bit. They do have uh, also a like little fountain thing where the kids are playing. And then after that, I think it's the waterfront and that's mostly this little area. All right, this is cool. So just down, oh, hold on, uh, focus, there we go. Just down the road is the Union Station right here. But look at this view, this is dope. This is, uh, there's the water. There is the water. Beautiful, everybody. Nice, nice, nice view. There is kind of some, I guess I'll call them mountains. I mean, the, the slogan of uh, Vermont, at least on the license plate, is literally the Green Mountain State. Again, that's what it's known for. It's known for mountains, like skiing in the winter, green, luscious wilderness. And uh, you kind of have all of the above with uh, that view right there, mountains and water. Yeah, this is actually a really nice vantage point. 
super cool. We'll head down there just a little bit. But uh, yeah, Burlington, you got it going on. And then right down the waterfront, we have some green space. We have a great big boardwalk. And then the water itself, which is gorgeous. There's a community boathouse out there. Wow, and restaurants, obviously some like boat rentals and all that stuff, but this is awesome. Totally like, you know, New England area vibes. And here we have another view out on the pier, which looks awesome. Very, very, very scenic. Really, really intimate with the water. And then literally on the water, look at this. Like that is, uh, I am two feet away from the water right now, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is cool. This is at the, uh, again, the boathouse, just kind of literally on the other side of it. There's also a restaurant there, but yeah, look at this, this is cool. We're gonna be back by the water. It smells like, it smells like the water. You know that scent? You smell the water, I guess more accurately, apparently it's you smell the shore, but yeah. Amazing, Burlington. Look at it, just look at it. And there you go, so the, the Ben Jerry's actually even factory is here at Vermont, and yes, it is made in Vermont. There you go, you can even get a tour of it if you really like Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It is uh, pretty close to Burlington, which we will not be doing today. <laughs> and in a lot of places down here, they have what they call creamies, which I just clarified, it's just essentially just soft serve cones, but there you go, in Vermont, Maybe New England, but at least in Vermont, they call soft serve cones creamies. So that's pretty cool. Learned something new. Got the I got the local lingo now. 